Hello, and welcome to the Robert L.A. Keeley Healing Arts Program's Works of Art series. I'm Sandy McGlawn, one of the artists in residence, and today I'll be demonstrating two watercolor pencil techniques as we color in this kaleidoscope. I hope you enjoy. Hello, today in this video, I'll be demonstrating two out of the four basic watercolor pencil techniques. The first, traditional watercolor effect using a brush and water after coloring. And the second, the intense color effect where you put water on the paper first. We'll be using the kaleidoscope drawing on watercolor paper that was included in your Keeley Healing Arts Works of Art packet. The other supplies you'll need are a brush, water, and four coordinating colors from your watercolor pencil palette. The colors I chose are purple, dark blue, light blue, and dark green. The first technique I'm going to demonstrate is the traditional watercolor effect, where we color first and then use water and the brush to blend the colors together. We're gonna start with our spirals and use purple on the inside to line the spiral itself, and then use dark blue to fill in around it. If you prefer your colors to pop against each other a little more, you might want to do what I'm doing here, which is color in the purple spiral first, and then use the dark blue to fill in around it. When you dip your brush in the water, then you will use the water to just blend the edges between the two colors. If you prefer a more subtle and thorough blending, then you may want to color in the entire circle first with the dark blue, color over the, that with the purple on the spiral, and then use the water and the brush to blend both colors together. The bottom spiral shows the effect of starting with the purple, while the top two show the effect of starting with the blue. Let's finish the spirals. Now that you've finished coloring in the spirals, dampen your brush in the water and use it to blend the colors together. You may want to start from the blue and work your way in toward the center of the spiral. You can use the same blending technique to color in the center of the kaleidoscope. The second watercolor pencil technique I'm going to demonstrate with our kaleidoscope is what I call the intense color effect. And this is where you use your brush to put water on the page first and then color it in with the pencil. The supplies are the same, brush, water, and a selection of pencils as well as our kaleidoscope drawing. We're going to use this technique to color in the smaller circles in the middle of the kaleidoscope. Start by dampening your brush and then dampening a couple of the small circles. You'll need to work with just two to three circles at a time to make sure the paper stays damp. When you apply the pencil, you'll find that the pigment goes on really smoothly and easily and it results in a really clear, bright hue. Keep alternating between dampening a couple of circles and coloring them in. Use the same technique to fill in all the tiny circles. For mine, I use dark green. Now you can use these two techniques to color in the rest of the kaleidoscope. 
For the triangular shapes that surround the circle, use the traditional watercolor effect. Repeat the colors that you used in the spirals. In this case, I'm putting purple as the base color and dark blue to highlight the tip of the triangle. Then I'll take the brush and go around and blend each of those uh, with water to smooth the colors together. Use the intense color effect on the triangles down the sides, painting them in first with water and then going back and coloring over with the light blue pencil. Use the traditional watercolor effect on the spirals and the semicircles in the corners. The spirals are blue and purple and the semicircles are light blue with a light layer of green blended in. For a finishing touch, use your purple pencil to draw a light line around all the dotted lines that frame the card. Then with a damp brush, soften that line and you'll have a nice purple frame. I hope you enjoyed learning how to do the traditional watercolor effect and the intense color effect with your watercolor pencils. Check out our other video to learn how to do the halo effect and get some more practice with the traditional watercolor effect.